What's up? What's up? This is your man, T.C. This is Mr. Motivator. This is Dr. Tommy Campbell, Jr. I want to wish you a happy Wednesday morning. I'm up this early Wednesday morning. I'm excited and I'm elated. And I just want you to know that you are destined for greatness. I speak that you are having a great week. I speak that great things are in store for you. And I want to tell you that you are a success in the making. You are destined for greatness. You can do the impossible. I want to tell you, whether you believe it or not, I'm here to tell you, you can make the impossible possible. Maybe you have maybe you gave up on your dreams. Maybe you're not dreaming big enough. I want you to up your dreams and dream bigger. Don't let your family or your friends stop you from going after your dreams. I want you to believe in yourself. Know you are an asset and not a liability. I want you to know this is your time. This is your season and this is your moment. Maybe you are an athlete and you suffered a bad injury. You can bounce back from that injury and be that great athlete. Maybe you're going through relationship problems. Maybe you're going through grief. Maybe you lost a loved one. Maybe something happened in your childhood. Maybe you grew up in a single mother home. Maybe you never knew your father. Maybe you're dealing with something that you can't seem to get past. Maybe you've made a lot of mistakes or or failure. Maybe you've given up on your dreams. Maybe you have a bad past that you are ashamed of. If that's you, I want to tell you that you are destined for greatness. And what I want you to do, you can take all of your pain. You can take the depression. You can take your mistakes and your failures and you can use it to do something great. And I want to thank, I am literally getting messages from people all over the world. They're tell, sending me messages telling me that my motivational videos are changing their lives. And I'm so grateful. I want to thank everybody from all over the world that are sending me messages. You guys, because of my motivational videos, you're starting businesses. Because of my motivational videos, you're going after your dreams. Your lives are getting better because of my motivational videos. And I thank you for you all sending me these messages from all over the world telling me that my motivational videos are touching your lives and changing your lives for the better. That's what it's all about. That's why I do these videos. You guys are also my authentic why. Because I see your lives are being changed. I see my videos, my motivational videos are touching your lives. I see my motivational videos are changing your lives. So I thank you for the messages you are sending me. I will be your online father. I will be that father figure to you. I will be your motivator. I will be that person that that whenever everybody else is telling you that you can't do it, when everybody else is telling you to give up, when your family members don't believe in you, I will tell you, I believe in you. Go after your dreams. Follow your heart. Follow your passion. Do, what, do what's in your heart. Do what you're called to do. Go after your dreams. And I want to say I'm excited. I will be speaking at UNC Charlotte. I will be speaking at the University at Charlotte in Charlotte, North Carolina this Friday. I'm excited. I'm pumped up. I'm elated. And I'm grateful for such an opportunity as this, being on such a big platform at UNC Charlotte at the University at Charlotte. I thank you. I love you for giving me this opportunity. I want you to know doors are open. Opening. Doors are about to open for you. I'm here to encourage you. I'm not here to talk about me. I'm not here to talk about my life. I'm here to encourage you. I'm here to motivate you. I'm here to tell you that you can make it no matter how deep your pain, no matter how deep your depression, no matter how bad your past is, no matter how many mistakes you made, you can do it. You can achieve it. You can accomplish it. And the word for the day, let's go ahead and get right into the word. The title of this message today is be unstoppable. That's what I'm going to tell you. I want to tell you to be unstoppable. And not only do I want you to be unstoppable, but you are unstoppable. 
Become a master of your craft. Study your craft. What do you mean? Whatever it is that you choose to do. If you want to be a motivational speaker. If you want to be a published author. Like I never thought I would be a published author. I, I don't, I'm not even a good writer. But I've been telling myself for years that I wanted to write a book. And, and I can't believe. I cannot believe. I'm excited. I can't believe I'm flipping through the pages. I am a published author. And my book is on Amazon titled Dream Big. And then type in Dream Big. And then type in Dr. Tommy Campbell Jr. And it's also on my website uh, at Dr. www.drtommycampbelljr.com. It is my website is Dr. www.drtommycampbelljr.com. This book is changing people's lives. Maybe you've been telling yourself you want to write a book. Maybe you've been telling yourself you want to be a professional athlete. You want to be an actor. You want to go to college. You want to start your business. I want to tell you. Whatever craft you choose, well, maybe you want to be a better employee. If you want to be better on your job, study your job. Learn about that job. Maybe you want to be a CEO of a company. Maybe you want to be a business owner. Maybe you want to be a professional athlete. Maybe you want to be a college athlete. Maybe you want that academic scholarship. Maybe you want to be a rapper or a singer or a lawyer or a doctor or a tennis player, a, a baseball player, a soccer player, a hockey player. Whatever your dream is, whatever you want to be, become a master of your craft. Study your craft. Whatever you want to be, make sure you study it. Make sure you learn about it. Make sure you put it in the 120% and make sure you grind. Because you are unstoppable. Because while everyone else is relaxing, you're practicing and perfecting. Ooh, that was good. I'm going to say that again. While everyone else is relaxing, while everyone else is playing around on social media, while everybody else is watching TV, while everybody else is partying, while everybody else is relaxing and procrastinating, you need to be practicing and perfecting whatever it is you want to do or be. You got to grind. You got to put in 120%. Because after you achieve a goal, you still shouldn't be content. What do you mean? After you achieve a goal, you still shouldn't be content. After you achieve success and greatness, you still shouldn't be content. But you, would, you should make the types of decisions that's going to help you achieve your greatness and your success. You must make the types of decisions that's going to help you achieve your goals. So once you achieve your goals, you will maintain that level of greatness. So while you're on the journey and while you're going after your dreams, make sure you are developing your character and your integrity. Because you don't need to go anywhere that you are not willing to take character and integrity with you. Because so many people become billionaires. So many people become millionaires. They get divorces. They get in trouble. They get in scams. They, they get in trouble. Uh, athletes, they, they become professional athletes, and then they think they're invisible, so they get in trouble with the law because they are not operating in character and integrity. And I'm going to say this again. Don't be willing to achieve greatness and success if you're not willing to to take integrity and character with you because character and integrity is the most important ingredients that will keep you at a high level of success and greatness because after you achieve a goal, you still shouldn't be content. It's about the climb. It's about the climb, climb to see how far you can push yourself. How far, my question is this, how far are you willing to push yourself? Are you willing to push yourself so far that you're willing to come out of your comfort zone? Are you willing to push yourself so far that you're willing to do something 
to be the first person in your family to do something that no one in your family has ever done? Are you willing to make history in your family when your family tells you that you can't do it? When your family tells you, oh, you should just work a regular job for the rest of your life. Oh, you're dreaming too big. Don't do that. Are you willing to ignore your family members? Are you willing to ignore friends in your life that don't believe in your dreams and you go after your dreams anyway? Why? Because you're unstoppable. You can be that professional athlete. You can be that business owner. You can be that real estate owner. You can get that academic scholarship. You can get that GED. You can get that high school diploma. You can become a rapper, a, a actor, a lawyer, or a doctor, or a movie producer. Whatever it is you want to be, you can become that. You got to see yourself becoming that because you are unstoppable. Let me share my dream with you. My dream, my dream is to speak in London, to speak in the NBA, the NFL, corporations. And I know that one day it will come to pass. And so my question to you is, what are your dreams? Speak your dreams. And after you speak your dreams, do less talking and go after your dreams. What do you mean? Do less talking and put in more work. Grinding. Number two, putting in 120%, not just halfway working on your goals, not just halfway going after your dreams, but putting in more work than everybody else that's trying to do the same thing that you're doing. Because my story is, I flunked the first grade. I grew up with a learning disability all throughout elementary school, middle school, and high school. I was picked on. I was bullied. I had a reading and comprehension problem. I had a learning disability. When I got in high school, I could never pass any tests. I made a bunch of C's and D's. And my high school teacher went by what it looked like in my life. She said, Tommy, you're not smart enough to go to college. She said, you will not graduate from high school. And that brings me to my next point. Don't let people put limitations on you because of where you are now. And that's why you got to be careful how you treat people who are not popular. You got to you got to be careful how you treat people who are not successful yet. Because the very person that you're mistreating, the very person that you don't believe in, the very person that you're sleeping on can be that next person that will blow up and become successful and do something with their life. That's me. And in 2009, I became homeless, living on the streets, begging for food. I got in college. I flunked out of college, and I had to get put on academic probation. I was going for my master's, and I, and I was about to drop out of the master's program. And then right after that, I was shot multiple times. I was shot in the back of my head, I was shot in my stomach, and I was shot in my groin area. Be unstoppable in the midst of everything that I was going through. I was unstoppable. And I knew that one day I was going to overcome my obstacles. I knew one day I was going to use my story to help many people. And now I'm a motivational speaker. And now I went from flunking the first grade to barely graduating high school to flunking out of college to almost dropping out of the master's program to being shot multiple times to getting my doctoral degree and now I'm a published author, not even a good writer. My teacher told me I wasn't a good writer. But look, years later, I'm a published author. Maybe you've been telling yourself you want to write a book. I want to tell you anything is, a, anything is possible. Be unstoppable. You can do anything. You can do anything you put your mind to. Don't let people put limitations on you. Don't you let people in your family, don't you let your friends, don't you let other people put limitations on you and tell you what you can't, can and cannot do. Be willing to come out of your comfort zone. Be willing to do something you have never done. Go to the limit. How far are you willing to push yourself? Next thing, be true to yourself. Relentless and unstoppable people. Watch this. Be true to yourself. Relentless and unstoppable people purge everything from their life that they hate. I had to go slow on that. As I close, I'm coming to a close. I'm going to say this again. Relentless 
and unstoppable people, they purge everything from their life that they hate. So people who are trying to do something with their lives, you're going to have to disconnect from anybody who is hindering you from becoming a better person. You're going to have to disconnect from people who are hindering you from doing what's right. You're going to have to disconnect from anybody who's telling you that you can't do it. They're constantly taking from you. They're constantly putting you down. They're constantly abusing you emotionally and, and mentally. You got to connect with people who are greatness. You got to connect with people who will motivate you. They will inspire you. They will tell you to go after your dreams. And that's why I'm telling you, I want you to look into this camera and I want you to look into my eyes and I want to tell you, you are unstoppable. Be unstoppable. You can start that business. You can bounce back from that injury as an athlete. You can go to college. You can get back into college. Maybe you flunked out of college. Maybe you flunked out of medical school. Maybe you want to be a lawyer. Maybe you want to be an actor. Maybe you want to be a movie producer. Whatever your dreams are, whatever you want to do, go after your dreams. Because have, as I close, watch this, have the self-respect and confidence to live on your own terms. Have the self-respect and confidence to live on your own terms. Don't spend the rest of your life letting people tell you what to do. Don't spend the rest of your life letting people own your time. Don't spend the rest of your life settling for a nine to five job. Now I understand you got to work for a season, for somebody for a season to get to where you're trying to get, but you're bigger than a nine to five job. You can be a CEO of a company. You can be a business owner. You can be a rapper. You can be a singer or musician. You can be an athlete. You can be a doctor or a lawyer. Have the self-respect, I'm going to say it again, and confidence. What do you mean? you got to believe in yourself. Maybe I'm talking to somebody who don't believe in themselves. Maybe you don't believe in yourself because you're going through grief. Maybe you don't believe in yourself because you're dealing with depression. Maybe you don't believe in yourself because you're dealing with a sickness. Maybe you don't believe in yourself because of what happened in your childhood. Maybe you don't believe in yourself because your parents got a divorce. Maybe you, you're already successful. Maybe you're already a millionaire or a billionaire, but you're not happy. There, there are so many millionaires. There are so many billionaires who are still not satisfied. There are so many rich people who are still not happy. But I want to tell you, this message right here, I want you to gain control of yourself emotionally and mentally. I want you to get it together emotionally and mentally. I'm dealing with the mind now. I want you to change your way of thinking. I want you to stop thinking negative and I want you to start thinking positive. Stop being pessimistic and become optimistic. I want you to learn how to look at life in a positive way. Because there's always a positive way to look at any problem in your life. Follow your heart and do what you love. I'm going to say that again as I close. Follow your heart and do what you love and establish freedom in your life. Because this is what's going to give you freedom in your life. I'm about to tell you how, how to get freedom in life. What's going to give you freedom in your life is when you follow your heart and follow your passion and do what you love. When you follow your heart, number one. Number two, when you follow your passion. Then number three, that's going to give you the freedom in your life. And as I close, when something isn't right, when something is not right in your life, change it immediately. If you're hanging around the wrong people, if you've had friends for years that's been pulling you down, they've been taking from you, they've been making you do wrong things, they've been hindering your life, it's time to get some new friends. It's time to connect with people who are going to motivate you and inspire you to do something with your life. And I know that's one of the hardest things to do is to let people go who are not good for your life. But you're going to have to let certain people go because there will be people who are greater, who are better people that will be replaced and they will help you get to the next level. Be unstoppable. I want to tell the whole world that I love you 
and I believe in you. I want to tell the whole world, this is your time, this is your season, and this is your moment. I want you to spend 2020 being unstoppable. I want to tell you, no matter what you're going through, no matter how deep your pain is, you are unstoppable. No matter how deep the depression is, no matter how deep your fear is, maybe you're dealing with fear. Fear is false evidence appearing real. Face your fear. You have nothing to be afraid of. Maybe you are afraid of becoming successful. Maybe you don't, maybe you don't want to go after your dreams because you are afraid of failure. No, you rather try and fail than, than to not try. Because when you don't try, you fail. But when you try, you're not a failure. And even when you try and fail, just keep trying until you, until you succeed. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please spread the word about me all over as a motivational speaker. I love you, I believe in you, and I need your support. If you want to book me to speak, uh, look at the email at the bottom of this video. My email is Z as in Zebra, O as in Oscar, N as in Nancy, E as in Edward, P as in Paul, O as in Oscar, P as in Paul, 39 at gmail.com. Zone Pop. 39 at gmail.com. My website is www.drtommycampbelljr.com. And that word doctor is DR. You are unstoppable. I want you to know you are valuable. I cannot close without telling you this. I want you to know I am a motivational speaker. I truly care about you. I want to see you successful. I want to see you accomplish your dreams. I want to see you blessed. I want to see you healthy. I want to see you blessed in every area of your life. Maybe you're going through a bad marriage. Maybe your children are not acting right. Maybe you're dealing with grief because you lost a loved one. Maybe you're dealing with an illness. Maybe you're dealing with something in your life that's keeping you from having joy. You're going to get that joy back because you're unstoppable. Maybe you flunked out of college. Maybe you, you're not a good test taker. Maybe you're dealing with anxiety. Maybe you're dealing with a lot of fear. You're going to overcome this because you're unstoppable. Myself, I've had anxiety. I wasn't a test taker. I made a lot of mistakes. I flunked out of college. I was on academic probation. I flunked the first grade. I was pronounced dead. I was shot multiple times. I faced death. And look at me today. I wasn't a good writer, and now I'm a published author of the book Dream Big on Amazon. Anything is possible. Go ahead and write that book. Go ahead and start that business. Go ahead and, and pick up that dream. Maybe you stop believing. It's time for you to believe again. I believe in you, and I love you so much. Thank you. That is my time.